Hi, I'm Bex from Boone Community Arts. This is Scribbling on Regardless, and today we're going to make a little sketchbook out of the papers in your pack so you can keep all your art in one place. Okay, so first thing you're going to do is get 10 sheets of paper. You can use all the papers in the pack, or you can also just use whatever papers you have lying around the house. Nobody said you had to just use the pack. And what we're going to do is we're going to fold all the A4 paper in half to create an A5 notebook. It's a little bit smaller, a little bit less intimidating, and just a bit easier to keep control of. Once you've folded all the paper in half, you're going to cut it along the fold um, as neatly as possible. Obviously, once again, if you do it individually, it is a lot tidier. It will take a bit longer. Once you've done this, you want to assemble it so that your cover is on the front and the back, making sure that all the papers inside are nicely laid out. Once you've done that, you line it up neat and tidy and use your thumb as a measure. You need to mark two dots, one on each corner of the side that you're going to make your spine. I like to use the small side as I think it wastes less paper and less space. Then you take a thumbtack and pierce through the holes. Be careful of your fingers when you do this. I tend to use my fingers as a V to push through and avoid pricking my finger. Ow. <laughs> Give it a little wiggle when you pull it out and this will help you thread through your wire in a moment. You'll notice in your pack you have two paper clips. You want to take those, unfold them. It takes a while, don't worry. Save your fingers. And once you've got it unfolded, you want to thread it through the hole about halfway through and then fold it up towards the edge of the spine so that you have a little bit of each folding over the edge. Make sure you've got it sitting nicely and then twist the ends of the wire as tightly as possible to keep everything in place. Once done that, fold the wire in, making sure that you don't scratch your finger. And you'll need to do this twice, once for each hole, as you can see. Once you've done that, give it a shake, have a look through, and you have your sketchbook. You can do them in other sizes, you can use different papers, cards, metallic papers, it's really up to you. And there uh, you go. Okay, well, I hope you enjoyed that. And thanks for scribbling on regardless. We'll hopefully see you in another of our videos. Bye.